So, Scott Coker calls you up, says we've got a four-man tournament. Uh, what are your first thoughts about it? Uh, you know, let's do it. You know, um, it sounds fun. You know, never done it before. You know, I've been fighting the MMA for about 12 years now. I've never done a uh, one-night tournament, uh, you know. So, you know, I, I come from a wrestling base, you know. Uh, so, you know, I, sometimes you wrestle, you know, three or four times in one day at a tournament. So, you know, not too big of a difference, you know, uh, except for you getting kicked and punched and stuff like that. But, yeah, I'm excited. Is this your ultimate shot at redemption, given the way things have uh, played out in the last year for you? Yeah, yeah. You know, I, you know, I think uh, this is going to be able, for not only for the fans, but for myself too. You know, to show you know uh, to myself what I know, what I'm capable of when I put in a full training camp and good diet and staying away from you know the things that have uh, you know have held me down. So uh, you know, and I'm ready to do it, and I'm ready to show the fans what I'm capable of. You know, I'm in my prime right now, so why not you know do it? This is the time. Famously, you ate one meal, one very small meal prior to a fight, or to one of your fights. Um, have you worked all that stuff out? Have you, have you, are you, are you training the right way? Are you eating the right way to make sure that you're performing like you need to on fight night? Ah, uh, you know, I mean, not yet, <laughs> you know, but but you know, but but it's coming, you know. I mean, I still I still probably do the one meal a day. I eat when I'm hungry, you know. I don't I don't eat because I burn so many calories. I eat when my body says eat, you know. Uh, so I mean, say so, yeah, I mean, I'm still gonna. I mean, but my diet will be better. It's definitely gonna be cleaner. Um, maybe not as much food as everybody else eats, but it's definitely a cleaner diet, you know. Uh, you know, instead of training for week and a half, two weeks for a championship fight, you know, I'm going to put in a full, you know, two-month camp, you know, and, uh, you know, and, and get away from everything, the partying and all the stuff that, uh, that I think was holding me back from, uh, from being, you know, the best that I could be. But you were, you were partying and, and, and living the life? Party living a life, man, you know, but I mean, I, I mean, I don't, I'm not a rager partier, you know, going out and doing a bunch of drugs and going to clubs and stuff, but I just, I just like being free. I like hanging out with my friends. I like going, I like going out and, you know, going to the beach and having some beers down by the beach, you know, and things like that. So, but, uh, you know, but I have to really buckle down for this camp and, uh, and put it in, you know, get, get back my belt because I know what I'm capable of and I know what I can do and I know nobody, and, and when I'm at 100%, nobody in the world can beat me. Do you think it's going to be difficult not to just be looking at Liam, given he was your last fight? You kind of got to fight through uh, a total of, uh, you know, you got to fight through two guys to get to him. No, nah, you know, I mean, this is this is the way the you know the universe played out. You know, this is the way everything fell into place. You know, I I can't freaking if I'm going to look at Liam and just try to think of getting to him, then uh, then it's going to mean that I'm it's disrespectful to my other two opponents. And also, you know, it, it's like I'm I'm looking past myself. You know, so but I, I want to go in there for my and not just from the fans, but for myself and show everybody what I'm, what I'm capable of and, uh, and 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 smash whoever's in front of me and you know, get back to Liam or you know then the winner of him and Tito and then smash who's over there. So you mentioned the word universe, and uh, I'm going to ask you a question that I would only ask you, which is, what is the universe telling you these days? Ah, uh, you know, I follow a scripture and, uh, very well. I mean, it's not just talking about in the Bible. You know, they talk about in Buddhism and also in Hinduism that uh, you know that training of the flesh availeth little, the training of your spirit. So that's what I was more about these past three or four fights with more training on my spirit, you know, you know, believing in, uh, you know, believing in, in myself in a different way. But, uh, but now it's time for me to step back into that fleshy realm and, and put in the hard training and put in the proper diet and, you know, and the good mindset, you know, uh, and, you know, not be so much a, I understand the universe now because that's what my, my growth was about at that time. But, you know, now that I understand it, now I can come bring it back to my flesh and, uh, and be that much more powerful.